Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. On today's Grapeseed Friends episode, we welcome a co-worker of friend of the show, Bruno. Joan is our guest today. Welcome to the show. Hello. Glad to be here. We are very happy to have you. So let's start with number Thank one you. here. How long have you been teaching Grapeseed? I've been teaching Grapeseed for about going on eight years now. It's Ooh. been a blast. Yeah. Long time veteran. Yeah. How many classes are you teaching this school year? This year, I'm currently teaching three classes. I have the Nen Shows, uh, Grade Twos, and Grade Four. Yeah, Nen Shows for people listening. That's this is K three in other countries. So like the the three year olds turning four, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, so what units are all, are all your classes on? Uh, my Nen Shows are currently uh, using the Little Seed curriculum or in Little Seed. My Grade Twos are on Unit Twenty. And grade fours are on unit 30. Ooh, wow. Quite the range of units you're going through there. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. What okay, is fun. your favorite unit? Uh, my favorite unit. Uh, that was a tough one. My favorite unit has to be, it, it's got to be unit seven. Unit seven is like the review unit. You okay. know, the children, they have all the tools at their disposal. All the letters and sounds are already covered to prepare them for reading. So, uh, and Unit 7 has got some, some excellent songs. Uh, the Weather Song, Shiver Shiver Burr, Keep Warm, Have You Ever Seen a Monkey? It's just full of great, useful language that the kids can use. I did get complimented by uh, Miklos once on my Weather Song singing. I guess he really enjoyed watching and listening to me sing. <laughs> oh, I've never seen you sing. So now, now I'm interested. I'll have to, I'll have to ask Miklos for a, a, a secret <laughs> under the under the table recorded video or something. Uh, what's the weather? What's the weather? <laughs> <laughs> How about a favorite component? A favorite component. Let's see, my favorite component would probably be you're gonna have to be. I don't know, really. The stories, the stories are fantastic. I, I love telling stories to the kids. The kids enjoy it. Every now and then I change the voices to the characters and the kids have a blast with it. Any particular story you like the best? Uh, me and Bruno kind of share the same liking. Uh, uh, we both like the spider's web. Okay. It's, it, it's a fantastic story and it's got a great message, you know, for the kids. Listen to your Don't parents. Talk to or, strangers. Or, Listen to your parents. Be yeah. careful. Or, or the yeah. spider will eat you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the spider will eat you. <laughs> so eight eight years, that's a long time. When you when you first went to grapeseed training, what did you think? What were your first impressions? Hmm. Uh, my grapeseed training, that was a long time ago. I remember it took place in Fukuoka many years ago. I remember when I went there, when I got there, it was very well organized. They had teachers from all over the country. Some of them were there for refresher training. And for others, they were like me, you know, it was the first time. I remember they ran through a few components from unit one. They showed us the proper way to do things, you know. They had us each present three components to our groups of four or five people. I was a bit nervous. We did have one guy in our group. Oh, man, he was very knowledgeable, very seasoned. I forgot his name, but hey, man, if if you're out there listening to this podcast, uh, <laughs> thanks, bro. He gave us useful tips and advice you know there are minor things like how to hold and percent and posture and all that jazz but the little things go a long way definitely the mystery person hopefully he remembers and hopefully he's still teaching grapes yeah, hopefully <laughs> all right tell us a moment about when you were teaching grapeseed and you thought wow this stuff really works i'd say about seven months into my first year of teaching grapeseed I was teaching the Nisho class. At the time, we were using uh, grapeseed toddler material. It consisted of a mix of different components from units one through four. We were doing playtime in the English room. And it wasn't until I actually stopped to listen around that I realized everyone was communicating in English. It's crazy. I remember hearing one child asking his friend, you know, he was like, where's the red block? And the other kid's like, it's here, right here. I heard a lot of do you like questions, a lot of children using please and saying thank you. All, and all the words they were using were things that we were learning from the material at that moment. It was, it was crazy. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. 
It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.